she doesn't even look anything like me. How does that work? She has no fucking shoulder hair. <laughs> she can hair. look like whoever she, she wants. Even... It's fine. No beard. Well, it's a little beard, but not anything really prominent. <laughs> oh. I have a winter beard going. What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to the basement. It's the first week after Comic-Con. We got two weeks worth of books for you to review. We got Comic-Con to review for you. We got all the crazy shit that we got there. Uh, we had a blast at Comic-Con. Ran into a couple of you. We even got recognized every now and then. Nobody recognized me, though. People asked about me, but they never saw me there. They asked about uh, what you did with that bus full of missing children. They didn't ask about the comic They'll never show. find <laughs> Well, good on you. Yeah. Hi, guys in the FBI. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what was really nice, man, was um, running into Jam Dematis. Mm. I got his name right this time. He's got a new project coming out. But Mike and I are working on this project called The Life and Times of Savior 28, which is a story about a superhero who's been around for like 60 years. He's been around since the 40s. It's a story I've wanted to tell for like 25 years. And he actually remembered us from last year when Tom DeFalco dry humped you. <laughs> um, and that project looks really good, actually. Uh, dry humping the comic. Yes. <laughs> Just yes. Then, yes. 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 If you can beat watching a, an ancient comic book writer raping Pete in public and not laugh, <laughs> that's your lose. All right. So, enough about Comic Con for now. Let's get to the reviews before I don't enough know about what my personal trauma. Going. Let's start with last week. Let's see what came out last week. And ow! Speaking of last week, what? What are you talking about? For those of you who haven't seen Pete's rant on J. Scott Campbell, um, I'm a big fan of J. Scott Campbell, and um, I love anything that he does, and so does he. You have everything that he's ever drawn, ever. And for you to say that about him is really fucking brutal. Burn. And I'm right. You're really right. Offended. You're right. And I'm embarrassed for you. And I'm embarrassed for he was like a here. really ridiculously nice guy when we met him at Comic Con. It's true. So nice. And, Absurdly mm, nice. And um, he pretty much apologized for not doing interiors of a book and like he's been dying to do interiors of a book but he just hasn't had the chance to and it's not his fucking fault because he's fucking lazy it's because he hasn't had the chance to shit happens all right so <laughs> i will basically apologize for kind of flying off the handle he's not a washed up has been he's not a hack and she's right she's got me dead to rights i was like the biggest scott campbell fan back in the day i used to put him on a level with michael turner i loved everything he did I had Danger Girl, I had Gen 13, I loved it when he started G.I. Joe. But I'm like a spoiled child who is not getting what he wants. And I want a full comic book. I don't want just cover art. I'm like, it's, it's like, like, let's say you're hungry. You're really hungry and you want a piece of pizza. You really are just dying for a nice slice of pizza. And somebody I'm gives Italian? you the mozzarella. No, <laughs> that I'm Italian too. But you, so, to... you, you can understand this then. Whoa, 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 No, it, you gotta understand this. It's, it, it's like you're really hungry and you just want a slice of pizza and somebody gives you a piece of mozzarella. And you will eat the mozzarella because it's delicious, but you still want the slice of pizza. The cover art is good. I will look at it. It's nice. It's the piece of mozzarella, but I want the whole piece of pizza, which is the interior of the comic book. What I want Scott say? Campbell to draw comic books again. He's not a washed up has been. But I will still not take back what I said originally. I am not paying 60 fucking bucks for a variant cover. To ow! What? I'm not! I didn't do it, and I'm not gonna! What Pete's trying to say is he wants J. Scott Campbell's yes, tomato eat goodness. You're lying. I looked it up on eBay, but I didn't buy it. I'm leaving oh, too. Danny, you want to sit in? Let's get a win for you, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, we've been drinking all weekend. <laughs> What's up, Danny? Clouds, sky, uh, woo! <laughs> a little Irish coffee for you. <laughs> a little. All right. Uh, <clears throat> I just want you to know that whatever I did on your front stoop is legal at least in three states, so you have nothing to be held against you. Did you at least put some newspaper over it? Uh, we'll get to that. All right. Speaking of astonishing tales. <laughs> All right, we'll start the week off on a crappy note. Astonishing Tales number one premiered last week. This is going to be a collection of various shit. Marvel stories. A collection of shit. Yes, basically. Because, and the reason it's a collection of shit, the first story with Wolverine and the Punisher was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, with this Leno U uh, kind of artist lookalike guy. 
And then there were two other, three other backup stories that were absolutely ass meets. And basically what they're going to try to do ass is... Meets? Yes. They're going to get one good story out of it, and it goes like three or four pages in it and says to be continued. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to spend like 15 bucks to get one good story and three shitty ones. It's not worth it. Save they doing this, are they doing this monthly? Yeah, it's going to be monthly. It's like Marvel they Comics did. from Brazil. Back in the day, they used to have Marvel, Marvel Comics Presents, which was bi-weekly. And uh, they had a lot of test stories in there. In fact, they launched it with that Weapon oh, X yeah. by Barry Windsor Smith. Mm -hmm. um, this, is, no. this is not Barry Windsor Smith. It's, it's not worth it. A while ago, Marvel Comics Presents. If they would take one good story yeah. and make it the whole comic book, and you spend three dollars on it, I'd say yeah, month to month it could be worth it. Check it out. But I can't. I, so every I month is another part of these three stories. Yeah. And it, but if they just to get, they're, they're, they're doing the same thing with this. What, we, what they did with X Men Manifest Destiny, and that sucked too. So uh, yeah. yeah. So, Marvel should have got. So what did we learn? Just write the whole comic, the, write the whole story into the one book, and don't suck. Something that didn't mm -hmm. suck. Uh, Immortal Iron Fist. Iron Fist 22 premiered the new story arc, which is basically Escape from Hell. And um, continues which is the to be fantastic. City. Yeah, That's I, cool. no shit. This continues to be one of my favorite fucking books. It's basically like Mortal Kombat at this point. Yeah. yeah. Um, Definitely. the artwork's dope. Yeah, this fucking story is really fucking good. Uh, it's actually a half decent jump on point. Um, yep. I, I can't not recommend this. No, it's great. Yeah. Um, it's... It, it's good jump on point, great artwork. If you're a fan of Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, or just old school 70s comic books, I recommend it. Artwork is still good too, even though it's a new artist. It's still uh, nah, it, well. It looks uh, almost like uh, almost like some really good style as like Aeon Flux type shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's good. It's really good. And a lot of good fight scenes. A lot of good kick ass. Yeah. Uh, Super Warriors. I liked it. Number Fuck one. You. I didn't I really like care it for it. I know. I, I liked uh, it. Who cares what? what it, who cares what you like? Huh? Who cares what you like? It's my show. It's true. I'm sorry. It's all right. <laughs> you don't have to like what I like. Tell um, us why you liked it. I thought that. Um, it's the first book I've seen that Mike, Brian Michael Bendis that he's been a part of but there's actually been like action in it and it hasn't just been like raw fucking endless exposition mm. um, and I think it's a good setup man I think it, it's got a lot of potential the artwork's fucking fantastic yep. um, it's Stefano Caselli who <laughs> di did a lot of work on um, Initiative uh, it's a good jump on point, man. It's the Adventures of Nick Fury and a bunch of other characters that you know are going to get killed at some point. Guaranteed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, they have to. Uh, the, and it also guest stars with Barack Obama, who was becoming... I, like, I was going to say, I like the scene where he meets the president and... Yeah. You know, the president just walks into his office and Nick Fury's there already. Yeah, he's yeah. like, how did you get in here? So, hold on. So, it's like so some portal to Barack shit. Obama has become an official character in the Marvel Universe. Yeah, yeah. much. Yeah. yeah. He's joining the Avengers next week, actually. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Presidential Avengers. Presidential <laughs> Avengers. They need another five titles. I like the Presidential Nick Fury with the gray hair. Yeah. I um, like that a lot. The artwork's... I think that it's very good. I wouldn't say it's great. It's kind yeah, of a hackneyed fucking good. story. I'm not going to give away the ending, but it's something that's been done before. It ties in with the rest of the Dark Rangers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All villains you know, all the time now. Like, like, um, like Dark Avengers, I don't know if this is going to outlast the Dark Rangers story arc, but it's a good story. I think you should pick it up. If you're going to waste your $4 on comic books, well, do it on a good one. So I you, think you can keep book. us posted on this one. I'm not going to continue enough. this, but... Right. War of Kings Dark Hawk, number one of two, came out. And it had sex with... Syphilitic midgets. I thought that, was <laughs> I thought that uh, shit was I don't horrible. know how he comes up with this shit. Wow. Now. Horrible book. I liked it, actually. I used Here to read Dark Hawk when I was a kid. This you gotta know a lot about Dark Hawk. This yeah, actually sucked the shit yeah. out of an old man's ass. <laughs> and chewed. And swallowed. <laughs> horrible book. <laughs> Written badly. Artwork wasn't very good. Not a coherent story. And if you read the beast, the, the back of it, it has his first issue, which is his origin. They made him... They started Dark Hawk as like a street superhero. Yeah. Like they wanted him to be... Admittedly in Queens, so it's not doesn't say much. But it, but now they're trying to turn it into some sort of like what? cosmic... <laughs> <laughs> you left, peanut gallery! <laughs> um, but now they're trying to make him into some sort of cosmic character. It worked for fucking, you know, the revamp of Nova. Because he was a good character. Yeah. Like, Dark Hawk is very like C-list. He's a good Z list. Z list. <laughs> yeah. Like, Z like Greek alphabet list. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Um, but it's, it's lousy, and I don't see how they're going to tie this in. Okay. Black Panther number one came out, and the only reason I bought this was because of the fancy 70th anniversary cover yeah, with some Mario on it. Yeah. Um, basically, not much happens here. Don't the chick. Oh, they don't even tell you yet. Uh, they basically just show one panel of the new female Black Panther.